Boom, boom. Welcome, family. Like I said, we back at it. Season two. Episode nine. I think we on, man. You know, we got so many shows, man. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> the big money, no problem. So far. You know what I'm saying? The big money, no problem. So podcast show, man. We can get straight to the point, man. I'm shut. Sure. AKA Big Wheel, my brother from another AG, AKA Mr. Indiana Jones, as you know. So as you can see, you know what I'm saying? We mind is one tonight, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get things straight at the crib, doing the daddy thing, you know what I'm saying? But salute to the big on 88 K, you know what I'm saying? Doing what he got doing that side. Check him out, man. All his platforms, 88 K Y, I mean K3YZ on all his platforms, man. Cause as you know, we in his shop. So you already know we got our other, other. One of the homies all right here. Go ahead, Fermain. Let him know. Let him know. Yo, yo it's Fermain with Fermain Entertainment. Big Money No Problems Talk Podcast always in the yes, building. Sir. Yes, sir. Fermain. Yes, sir. Fermain. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so we are. So before we get started, though, man, we want to let y'all know, man, that podcast show is sponsored by Mill Hub Media for Found Entertainment, where they have a selection of new artists and games. Also, you can check us out. On them internet airways, man, all day, every day, on One United Radio Station. You can check that out at oneunitedradio.com, or you can download the One United Radio app. Tune in, man. You can also check us out, man. Very sad today. You know what I'm saying? That 92 KELZ radio station, that number one base internet radio station out of Houston, Texas. You can check us out there, too, at 92KELZ.com, or you could download the 92 KELZ app. Tune in, tune in. Also, for y'all sports, 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 sports listeners, man, me and Fur man getting some shit together to where we about to be talking our shit on that shit. It's a lot that's been going on that we need to talk about. So on that side of the realm, so we're going to have those conversations as well. And the big homie AG going to definitely chime in one or two shows on that one too. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to so, get, get my sports out and look <laughs> on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so definitely, so definitely be on the lookout for more than BMMP Sports 30. We got one episode out, man. Y'all can check it out. So, hey, continue, continue to support that. Hey, as we continue to do what we got to do on this platform, you know what I'm saying, to push everybody. So, check us out, check us out. So, welcome again to the Shop Talk, man. We up in it. Hey, AG, man, we'll be on tonight, man. What, what we got going on? Hey, before I say that, though, do what you do to vibe out with us as we start to get into it. Tough conversation tonight. Real grown man conversation tonight. Go ahead, AG, what you talking about? Yeah, we're gonna call this one respect amongst men, man. You know what I mean? Just you know what I mean, just by us being men, grown men at that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's certain ways that you have to interact with each other. You know what I mean? Even the, the three of us on here, you know what I mean? Just or, or even with keys, uh, the four of us, you know what I mean? It's certain, you know what I mean, certain ways that you have to approach, you know what I mean, that you have to, you know what I mean, be sociable with, you know what I mean, amongst other men, you know what I mean, especially you know what I mean, when you see them men as peers, you know what I mean? You you know what I mean aggression or trigger words you know what i mean certain things that you can say that can set a person off you know what i'm saying it might not be you know what i mean uh intentional you know what i mean but it's just when you're talking to other men you know what i mean you have to be wearing and understand that that man is a man just like you you know what i'm saying oh yeah and it was crazy because like i say, it's a whole backstory with all this you know what i'm saying while we having this conversation today but fur man kind of alluded to it last show um you know what I'm saying? When you talked about uh, just us men and how we got to live and survive because wrong things could get people killed out here. You know what I'm saying? Misunderstandings can get people hurt out here. And that's the struggle with us men, you know what I'm saying? Especially coming from the backgrounds we come from, where that's being in survival mode is, it's, it's, it's almost second nature. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to anything we perceive to be disrespect or anything, hey, we pouncing on it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the instinct of that mode that kicks in. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that. Because like you said, when you come from the certain environments we come from, when you see the things that you see, how being solid is pretty much the, the conversation in most of these surroundings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, people can get upset a little bit, a little easy when it comes to manhoods being being uh tested, so to speak. Real deal. Real deal. You know and saying? men are men are aggressors. You know what I'm saying? We are we're naturally aggressors. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? We, you know what I mean? We 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 naturally gonna have our chest poked out. You know what I mean? And 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 you, it's almost like you daring somebody to try to deflate it. You know? You know what I'm talking about? 
<laughs> Straight up. <clears throat> but I, I want to hop in real quick. I want to make a um, a show public apology to 88 Keys, man. Uh, the last show we got into a riff, man. You know, we we was we was we was cursing each other out. We was digging deep on the words. I mean, I mean, yeah, was not myself. Actually, I was me, but that's a, that's a me that I don't like to come out or nothing like that. So I'm gonna make a public apology to my man, 88 Keys, man. All that gun, boo, 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 all of that. Nah, I'm not doing none of that. I'm not. I'm just telling you, I'm not doing none of that. But like I told him, I will wrap your body up. Though. Not like that. <laughs> that's second nature, baby. But that's just a little small side joke. But I just, you know, want to give a, uh, a apology to my man, 88 Keys, man. Ah, right, man, we we and my bad for messing up the synergy of the show, taking it too far, taking offense. Oh, I should have been slow to to take offense, and 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 and, but you know, was out of myself a little bit. First, I just wanted to say that. Um, but I like right. yeah. now I was gonna say before you get before you get heavy into it, uh with Fur Man, what he's talking about, man, that's man time shit of what we talking about. You know what I'm saying? On we talk about self-accountability and everything. Because like I said, I know Fur Man. I know Fur Man like my whole life. You know what I'm saying? 20 plus. And what y'all see on the show, the energy, the everything, how you feel, how you move. I tell people, man, niggas be thinking, uh oh, nah, that's not that's not an act. Like that's him. If and it's like it's 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 the either ors with him. You know what I'm saying? Either you rocking with me or you ain't rocking with me. Ain't no middle in between. None of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So man is solid, 110, and I know the man for 20 plus years. So this ain't no act either. This is her man. You know what I'm saying? This is my man. This is her man and, right here. With, and that's real though, man. man. Like you know what I mean? I like you know what I mean. I'm gonna I'm compliment you and commend you on that because that's what. Man, being a man ain't always just about being, you know what I'm saying, a tough aggressor. You know what I mean? Being a man is like like Chuck been saying, you know what I mean, taking accountability. You know what I mean? We have to take accountability for our actions. But that kind of, you know what I mean, what separates us from women. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times, you know what I mean, you hear like females, they they get into it and they hold grudges. We don't really hold grudges like that. You know what I'm saying? All right, we might exchange some words, all right, whatever. We might even come to blows. All right, you done? I'm done. All right. Back to you know, we back to business. We 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 good. You know what I'm saying? It's always been like that. You know what I mean? But it takes it takes a strong man to be able to hold himself accountable for where you know what I mean where he went wrong. At, you know what I mean? So shit, kudos, kudos to you on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sure Keys jump jump on here. You know what I mean? He'll say the same thing. You know what I mean? As far as his actions or whatnot. You know what I mean? I don't think you can really have the essence of manhood without accountability. Like that is the, you can't even, you can't even jump into manhood land without self accountability. Yes. I got to hold myself accountable. Um, yeah. So definitely respect. my apologies. Respect. 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 But yeah, just trying to get on to some questions. This is, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, Chuck, go ahead. Now I'm just saying, man, just to kind of throw it around the room. So just from, you know what I'm saying? I got a son, you know what I'm saying? I know Ferman got a son and everything like that. And just from around the room a little bit, man, just seeing what's going on with this generation. Like, it's almost, I don't know if being solid is considered solid enough nowadays, man. It's almost like young men are not being taught, like the, the, the foundations, I think a little bit of having to be self-aware, self-accountable, man. Like, Stay like hold your ground when it comes to certain things and everything like that. What y'all think, man? Like, is it this the, this generation is different, man? The, the the lack of focus, the lack of everything, it kind of takes away from that. What y'all think? I mean, I think it's very different, but you know, I think a, a lot of that kind of has to do with a lot of us too, though. A lot of our generation, you know what I mean? Because it's not a lot of that being taught either. You know what I mean? Uh, I think uh, self accountability kind of really started. You know what I mean? Falling to the wayside within our generation. You know what I'm saying? So they can't really be taught that. You know, they can't display that because they ain't nobody even really teaching them that. You know what I mean? This generation here is being taught by what they see, you know what I mean, on 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 on, on their phones, on tablets and whatnot. You know what I mean? So they 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 rough and rambunctious, but they they not getting the balance of you know what I mean being taught the, the guidelines behind that. You know what I'm saying? 
What you thinking, Fermat? I'm thinking that uh, we we uh, our kids have have lost touch with um, you know how some primates when they're kids they do they do rough and play the outside they get in the environment mm -hmm. they get dirty they know how to socialize with other boys and girls not to socialize with other girls mm -hmm. and you know there, there's a learning there's a social learning process there and. I think our kids are going to uh, be lack of that, you know, and it's going to be a shame of, of how it's going it's, how it's going to look twenty years from that. You know, are we going to have less kids? Are they doing this to set it up to have less kids and less social interactions? You know, why are they doing this? Like, 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 and it's not heading in a good direction. Let me just say that. Not heading. I agree, in that I agree because. You kind of touched on it a little bit when you said that. It's <laughs> it's funny when you talk about that because we just talk about that too. Like, like you said, not learning how to interact, basically not learning how to go through something and deal with something amongst your homeboys. You know what I'm saying? Amongst your friends, because everybody is not outside kids no more. Everything is social media centric. Mm -hmm. That yeah. that's why that's why it's a lot of tough talk when you hear people go through stuff and it's publicized through social media. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the centric of the way the world is moving right now. Because, shoot, me and Fermain, we were just talking about it back in the day, man. He, we got into it. This is my home on some basketball stuff, just playing, man. Got up under each other's skin, and it got real heavy personal and everything like that. But we still homies to this day. It got certain situations where you have you learn to have arguments with your peoples. You know, you learn what buttons to push with your peoples. You know what I'm saying? But then you also learn how far to go, how far not to go, and everything like that. And Straight in up. this generation, in this generation, I don't think they understand that because I hear some of the jokes. I hear some of the drone. I, hear, I say, damn, some of y'all get a little bit too, too, too into it to where I almost question, do you even respect that man? You know what I'm saying? To the point the way it's like, it's just crazy. And I think really because good. that interact, that interaction is lacking of how to be able to deal with each other as men. That's why we got the problems we had with our younger generation. You know, it's not enough. It's not enough solid motherfuckers out there. One of my uh, one of my closest homeboys. You know what I mean? We had man, this was years ago though. You know what I mean? Shout out, big bro. You know what I mean? Uh, we had we was we had a, a difference of opinion. You know what I mean? So we kind of arguing back and forth. You know what I mean? And I I must have jumped up and told told him, "Hey man, why you acting like a bitch?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't call him a bitch, but I, I said, man, why you acting like a bitch right now? You know what I mean? Oh, hey, it hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? And at that point in time, it's like, you know, we was we was still younger. You know what I mean? But even though I didn't call that man a bitch, you know what I mean? Men got triggered. We, we had triggered words. There's certain things that you can't say. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be like, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? If we got into it real heavy about that. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I'm talking about we got into it heavy. You know what I mean? But we ended up, you know what I'm saying, hashing it out like me, because we are, we still men and we friends above, you know what I mean, among, above all everything else, you know what I'm saying? But I had to apologize to that man, you know what I mean? Hey, I shouldn't have used that that terminology with him, you know what I mean? I know he's far from that, you know what I'm saying? But it's just certain things and certain actions and certain, you know what I mean, advances you can't do to other men, you know what I mean? If they, any man about their caliber, you know what I mean? Because, boom, it's, it, it just happens like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's real tough. That's real tough, man. That's real tough. And it's just, it's tough out here. It's just the way I see it, man. It's just, it's just tough. Because I think, like I said, I think back to back in the day, it's like, shit, we, you don't even, it's like you said, you don't even see the kids play fight no more. You don't even see the kids do none of this shit. Like, hey, man, I ain't seen nobody slap box, box in a minute. <laughs> ain't nobody slap <laughs> box <laughs> out here. Ain't nobody like, doing, doing none of that shit. So but you, crazy. but you know what's crazy, man? Like you know, what I mean, what I think, what what, what I, I, the the, uh, the younger generation won't understand is that took away took a, a, a lot of aggression out for us. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. that playing and roughhousing like that. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, it released a lot of aggression mm -hmm. for us. You know, what I mean, so they they still walking around with pent up aggression. You know, what I'm saying, but we was mm -hmm. out there wrestling, boxing, slap boxing. You know, what I mean. Hey, we was releasing football. a lot of that. Man. Yeah, you know That's what I mean? What I said. Football. Releasing, Man, yeah, boy, releasing like, a lot of that energy. That. <laughs> you know what I mean? So and then that night spades. 
Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice thing. Hey, talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's, it's just it's just crazy, man. And so that's why I say it's, 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 it's different. We grew and, up face to face socializing. Not know on the phone, people used to knock on your door and say, hey, can the lunch come outside, please? Can yeah, such and such come outside? I mean, mm-hmm. who's knocking on doors now? Uh, hey, we, all, we also came up in a uh, generation that still took their lumps and bruises. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? We can get out of the neighborhood and, 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 and throw them hands. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and not necessarily just have to be, you know what I mean, so cowardly about it that, you know what I mean, that now we got to go run. You know what I mean? Go popping it just because, you know what I mean? I took ass for We still take ass with I know I took a few of Yeah, I took a few. And I just. And I and gave a few. Is, <laughs> and, but the thing is, it's like when you think about that, though, you think, and we not, like I said, we not advocating all that, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, what we're saying is, like he was saying, to not have that energy to want to go out there and do something extra to a motherfucker that could change the rest of the course of my life. You know what I'm saying? Right. Over something probably small. And that's a big thing out here nowadays because kids today, it, man, go ahead, go ahead for me. But that socializing mm-hmm. gives gives if, if it gave us the boundaries of, of, of growing up of guys, of each individual guy. You know what I'm saying? We knew, like, okay, we got okay, this man got boundaries. Don't be this. I'm saying, like it you're able, you're you're able to read it better. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? And you were able to judge better. You were able to say, hey, I don't want to hang around that guy. I'm going to hang around this guy, you know? Nice. Being around outside and seeing their demeaning and interactions and pettiness and stuff like that. And that's how you kind of know, like, hey, you know what? I'm going to lean over here because these guys are cool, you know? Mm-hmm. These guys, you know? So, um, it's just, I mean, <laughs> it's going to be more of that, Chuck, because of the non physical. Face to face socializing. There's gonna be there's gonna be more that you know. It's gonna be petty, and it's gonna go from petty to explosion. Mm-hmm. You know, it's gonna go there. It's and not gonna be okay. Can we can we talk think- down? Can we? What's going on? What's, what's the problem? Like, can we talk about it? It's that's gonna be very tough. And I don't think this generation understand the importance of that. The importance of that uh, that social interaction, like you said, because you can't judge nobody not being around nobody. So I can't. I can't sit here and get a full judgment on somebody's character just off of social media. You know what I'm saying? Because on social media, people only give you what they want you to see. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to give you everything. But when we out and about and we interacting with each other, we actually having conversations with each other. We're in each other's homes. We're in each other's homes. Eating each other's foods. You know what I'm saying? Meeting your mamas and dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was way deeper. You know what I mean? Under, you know what I mean? Learn. You know what I mean? It, it's it's a more viable way of understanding your personality. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. personalities clash. You know what I mean? And you don't really. You can't. You can't gauge nobody's personality. You know what I mean? Cyber. You know what I mean? Talking to them or associating with them. Cyber. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You got to mm-hmm. see some some facial expressions. Hear some changes in tones. You know what I mean? Like everybody. You know what I mean? Everybody has a different. You know what I mean? Way that they interact when they get excited and get passionate about a subject. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you know, you gotta hear that and understand who you're talking to. You know what I mean? Versus being a robot and you know what I mean, just reading words off the screen. Exactly. Because if you don't, the thing is, if you don't interact and know people, like you said, if I don't know what those, because sometimes that's that what makes it hard when we have arguments. Uh, you don't know what those trigger words are. If I'm not around you 24/7 and you're not a true homie or I don't see you as that or this, that, and other, yeah, I don't, I don't know you. I don't understand what takes you up. I don't understand what what gets you into those those heated what's next. And then if I'm not hanging out, which like you said, Furman, I don't know if this the person I want to be cool with. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not interacting with you, so I don't know. Like we used to go to back back in the day, we had to go go. We had events together. We had things and this, that, and the other. So you kind of know, like, hey, this was my homie. This this is my own. Hey, nah, that nigga don't fuck with that shit. Like sometimes you can speak up for your home, you know what I'm saying? Because you know your home. Hey, nah, yeah. Slim, that's not how my man gonna move right here. Hey, nah, that's not. And when you get to interact, because you know, as we start to go to college, we start to develop other friendships outside of, say, your core friends. You understand, like, hey, this my man. Nah, I don't think my man will really rock with my man right here. And me and him may be cool, 
but sometimes it may not be cool enough for these two to be cool. You know what I'm saying? I, and that's real. And like, I, got, just, I, yeah. I got my uh, my college homeboys. You know what I mean? Shout out uh, Juan Click. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But hey, when we when we uh when we get the roasting, hey, it's it's no hoes bars. You know what I mean? But we it's always been like that. You know what I mean? We know that nobody means anybody no harm. You know what I mean? You might hear some bitches just, oh, you weak ass. You know what I mean? You hoe. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that come out. You know what I mean? But I know my uh, my camp at the crib. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That ain't those type of No, cops. no, no, no. We ain't, you know we what I'm saying? ain't Jonah like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hey, you can talk like about that. his shoes. You can talk about his clothes. You can talk about his car, whatever. Hey man, don't don't hey don't say bitch. Don't hey man, don't call that man no whole ass nigga. Nah, <laughs> we can really have a whole situation here. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You know what I mean? I but know, that's the I whole know, thing I about you, interpersonal man. communication. You know what I mean? Understanding that. You know what I mean? Understanding where you at, who you dealing with, and how to you know I me mean? operate around the crowd that you with. And then another thing, right? Another thing, right? Civilians interacting with civilians is different than interacting with somebody from jail or somebody yeah. from the military yeah. or somebody from another situation, the box or something like that. Every gangsters, like everybody is different. And you don't know how to gauge each of these, you know, sections right. of, of people, back to the people. Right. Oh man, you're going, you're going to, you're not going to make it. That's you're not going to make it at all. But Straight up. Right. That's the whole purpose of us, you know, I mean, having a certain level of respect for people, period. You know what I mean? Until we, you know what I'm saying? Until we can gauge how that interaction goes. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some some type of sense of respect for your fellow man, you know what I mean, in, in, your, in your interactions with them until, you know what I mean, you get close enough to, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, yeah, we on this level with it. Okay, we can rock like that. You know what I'm saying? But let me ask y'all this, though, like, the gift and the curse of it, though, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how we always talk about in relationships, um, women, whenever we into it or we have our arguments, they know exactly how to say and move to cut you deep. Ooh, I think yeah. sometimes that kind of goes, this, I think that kind of goes the same way with close homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Because when you interact and know each other, so how do y'all feel like the gauge in that needs to happen? Because it's almost like, you know what I'm saying, not to say it like this, but it's like, that's a relationship. That's my man. You know what I'm saying? That's the homie. And it's like, this nigga know everything. So this nigga know how to cut and know what certain things to say or this, that, and the other. Do you think that's the difference, though, when you are real, real close with a motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Because a woman will go there. She don't give a fuck. When she upset, she upset. She's going to go there. But I know it's been times, though, you know what I'm saying? I, and I could, you know what I'm saying? Even with that situation with me and Fermay back in the day when we had that situation, we was upset, but we still knew how it's still a certain respect level there for my man to, no matter how fucking angry I am, I'm not going to go there. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, do you think that's still hey, common hey, now? Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me interrupt you real quick. Hey, 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 AG, AG. Yeah, yeah. Chuck has yeah. been dominating me in basketball. <laughs> um, um, shooting over me. I'm talking about. I'm talking about mid range, turn around, easy. Nothing you can do. So if a man beats you 99 times, times, right? Oh man! So, if a man beats you 99 times, or now 100 times, I say it's nothing easy going down. No more. I mean, I'm swiping arms. I am battering. I am oh. assaulting. Charles on the basketball court. It's a so I can get one win out of, of out of a hundred. <laughs> and I got that one win, AG. We, and that we around, night, and we, we almost know I got that and, one win. And we around, and the thing was, I think I was more upset because we going at each other like that, and we around a bunch of new niggas who don't know us. I don't, so like, I, so they, I don't even recall them, bro. I just recall the win. I just recall the win. I didn't see none of them. I just was like, I'm glad I beat Charles this one freaking time, man. You know how much mad I got, AG? No, he doing like little dough, like easy and smiling, like, oh, that's too easy. Ooh. I got mad. I said, nah, man, everything's swiping, man. Everything's foul. Nothing's easy today. And Charles got, I got it, I got it under Charles' skin for the first time. Charles, though, Charles is real smooth on the court. That's a smooth brother on the court. You can't rattle Charles. 
Nah, rather than that day. <laughs> yeah, he got a bug to me, though, boy. He got a bug to me. But it was just, but it's just crazy, though, because like I said, it's just certain people who just know, you know what I'm saying? But it never went further than that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of crazy. Like, when you look at this dynamic, because I see, I see the relationships and friendships, you know what I'm saying, amongst people, where I'd be like, damn, that's how you really talking to your home? Like, that's how, you know what I'm saying? I don't care how upset you get with the nigga, but damn, that's how deep you going? That's almost like a female cutting deep in a relationship, too. You know what I'm saying? So what y'all think about that dynamic, though? Man, like, on, on one end, like, you know what I mean, as far as, like, how... You, you brought up how the females do it, you know what I mean? Like talk to their dude or whatever, and they cut, you know what I mean? And I think that's a problem. Like, like, like women have to understand that, you know what I mean? Cause you hear a lot of times like, ah, oh, she, he around his home boys more he around his girl and he must be gay. Nah, nigga ain't gay. He's like, but his homie, just like you know all this, you know what I'm saying? His darkest, you know what I'm saying? His secrets, the, the shit that hurts him, the shit, you know what I mean? That type of stuff, he know the homie ain't gonna do it, you know what I mean? Or if the homie do do it, he know he can handle the home, you know what I'm saying? Or they can handle that and hash it out or whatever, you know what I mean? So I, you, he can't trust you, you know. Once you once you cross that man, you know that's the whole thing about the respect amongst men or, or for men, you know what I mean? Once you use his secrets or his, you know what I mean, his deepest feelings against mm. him, oh, it's, it's the trust level is gone, you know what I'm saying? So you just gonna you, mm. you gonna you gonna use that to hurt me? Nah, I can't I can't mess with you, Slim. And, and, and here's the thing, right? It's, it's two sides to this friendship coin, right? And like you say, it it takes a real like relationship friendship. Y'all y'all should be able to talk about anything, talk anything out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But on the other side of that coin, they each other has to know each other deeply, in a sense, though. So you're right. It's two. It's two sides of this friend coin. It's something where you got a person right here that you can talk anything about. You can talk about anything, but then on the other side of that, it could be used against you in a sense, though. And that's the risk of of, of a relationship slash friendship, man. That that's the risk of it, man. You know what I'm saying? And and and. But does the reward outweigh the the risk in in a good friendship? Absolutely. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. heavily. Got some right side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got a homeboy who's solid. That's that's just what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and I think a lot of, and I think like I said, a lot of conversations. Like I hear, I hear conversations like this. I like what we having, but it, I don't think people really tested it on that level that deep. You know what I'm saying? Because I think people forget that with a friendship, when you with your homeboys and when you what's the name, man? That's those homeboys. Is, 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 that's a relationship. We good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's my homeboys. Yeah. So we good. So it's it's a different dynamic with that than when you're dealing with. A young and that's what I tell people though when it comes to these youngins, I'd be like, though, if you ever reach the level to where it's like I look at you like a homie, that's a compliment. Oh, we you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, because it's like when you reach that if level, a man tell tell his woman she his best friend, hey, no, lead that. He mean on, that. Man. You know what I mean? He mean, he mean that. that. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a hundred and ten because you solid like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a different dynamic. Because, like you say, with your homeboys, we know all each other's shit. We we, we told each other. We know the shit. Right. Man, when I go through that struggle, when I go through this, my deep, dark shit, what I went through and all that, and then if I can have that same conversation with you in my household and still trust that that shit don't come back my way any other way, the way I know it went with him, hey, we solid. You yeah, know what I'm did. saying? And I, still never and I still never understood why sometimes when you talk about Emails, why some of them still don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a hard understanding to really know. Like, hey, it's a reason. When I known a nigga 20 plus years, almost 30 plus years, and niggas been solid since. No matter how deep the arguments they got, and we mm. still fuck with each other. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I got, <clears throat> my guy told you, man, man, don't cut hey, man, we, hey, we didn't got into it to the point where. Guns and actually came out. You know what I mean? No good damn well. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't we ain't finna fight, but you know what I mean? That was just who we were though. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean, just mm -hmm. kind of wised up and you know what I mean, just and, and it was water under the bridge. Hey man, my bad. I shouldn't even came at you like that. You know what I'm saying? But I I I I do feel you, you know what I mean? Like if if women could understand that fact, bro. I seen a meme on uh on Facebook earlier. It was something like 
if a man, you know what I mean, if a black man opens up and vents to you about his, you know what I mean, his pains and his secrets, oh, he love you. And, that, and that's real, you know what I mean? Because we don't just do that with anybody, especially black men. We don't just start pouring our emotions, you know what I mean, to how we feeling. And we carry a lot of, you know what I mean, a lot of stress on our back and in our shoulders from the world, you know what I mean, from, from generations of the world, you know what I'm saying? So when yeah. we open up, and you know I, what I mean? Go ahead. It's crazy. And I was going to say, too, just to kind of touch on what you were saying, Ferme, it's two sides to risk and the rewards. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure all of us got stories of niggas we thought was solid and they got burnt. You get what I'm saying? And uh, so, and, and the thing is, to me, that's where the true essence of that man time, what you hear the kids say today, that's the true essence of how you deal with those situations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Comes right. out. Because because at that point, that's almost like a betrayal. You know what I'm saying? And when you reach that level of betrayal, the the, the thoughts of how you feel and what you would want to do to a nigga over some shit like that, right. man. Dogs can went through my money. No, no. Hey, that's why hey, we I had, know. I know. I done, I done calm down a whole lot because hey, it don't even it, it go past the thoughts. I, I'm the one that's gonna pull up. <laughs> hey, bro. Now, what was that you were saying again, man? Come on. <laughs> what you what you say to me? Really? Repeat it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's real talk, though, and and, and, and that's the maturity of understanding yourself, starting to learn yourself, you know what I'm saying, self-awareness, self-accountability, all this, that, and the other, because it's just, it, it sometimes just falls to the mindset, like, damn, that was that that was that one other side of the coin, that 50%, mm -hmm. where it was like, damn, I fuck with this nigga, but damn, this nigga did some, some crazy shit, so now I can, sometimes do, you just can't do, do it. Do, next question, so do, do, do you hold any responsibility for that situation at all? I think, I would say yes. Because it's 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 um when you get burnt by a homie or somebody who you feel or you thought was a homie and you thought was solid enough, sometimes you uh sometimes you let certain niggas cloud the bullshit a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you get you get you see that mirage of what you you're thinking is solid and it's not it's not really official. Just to kind of understand like that nigga just wasn't solid enough even for himself. Because a nigga wouldn't betray you or burn you like that if that nigga was who he say he was. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, yeah, you do got to take self accountability. That's why you, in a way, when they say, yeah, you could be upset and you want to be mad at that nigga and you want to go off and do something to that nigga. But at the same time, it's like, I got to put myself in that self account. And sometimes that helps me calm down a little bit when I feel heated like that with a nigga who feel like they burnt you. You know what I'm saying? Because some of that accountability of not paying attention or seeing those signs because I let what I thought was a good friendship cloud that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I got to take accountability for that shit. That nigga just wasn't, you know what I'm saying, at that point. You know what I mean, saying? at the end of the especially day. On my, especially on my end, the nigga know who he is if he paying attention. But especially on my end, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to, yeah, I don't hold no cut cards right now. But it's just, it's just certain things, man, like, nah, I can't. It's crazy, man. And I put and I put that responsibility on me. You know what I'm saying? I really do. And I'm gonna second, I'm a second that. I'm a second that too because I, I I I have to hold myself uh, responsible as well. Uh, I gave too much trust away. Um, yeah, I gave too much trust away into something that that I you know that was built from the ground up, man. And yeah, I hold myself accountable for that. You know what I'm saying? I had, I'd have had some some people, you know what I mean, some cats that, you know what I mean, out, out when I was living in Gary for a while, you know what I mean, I I kind of opened up the house to them, you know what I mean, we I, we we I, we rocking, you know what I mean, a <clears throat> couple of things happened, you know what I mean, he's like broken my in my house, you know what I mean, and yeah, I, I mean I blame him, but I still blame myself, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, man, like it's like this, a friendship is still a relationship, you know what I mean? It's still a relationship like you would have. You know what I mean? With a woman, you know what I'm saying? So when you're in a relationship, you know what I mean? More often than not, you have to ha have some type of self-accountability because I don't care who the person is, you got some type of red flag dealing with that person. Now, whether you chose to look at it and view it as such, you know what I'm saying? is a whole That's different ball game. You know what I mean? But 
Nobody totally, I don't care how much of a facade, nobody can totally disguise themselves. You know what I mean? It's just, right. so you gotta be accountable for not picking up on little things where you, you know what I mean? It might just be the, the smallest, quirkiest little thing, you know what I mean? That you kind of, and then you just kind of, you know what I mean, walked away from it. But you know what I mean? Now, nah, when you, when, when that raised it, when you raised that eyebrow in that little situation, you were supposed to take it upon yourself to kind of dig a little bit that. deep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> People always tell on themselves in some type of way, man, unless they, <laughs> unless they, you know what I mean, are sociopathic or just master manipulators. And most yeah. of us ain't master manipulators. And I hope, you know what I mean, I know we ain't all sociopath. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. And that's the, that's why I say that's the, that's the self-accountability part. You know what I'm saying? Because just like in a regular relationship when you with a woman, you know what I'm saying? When you got homeboys, you lose over time and this, that, and the other. It's still self-accountability. Like, you lose women in relationships. It's like, I seen the bullshit, but I chose to ignore the bullshit. And then I get burnt with the bullshit, so I can't be mad at the shit. Because when you really think back on it, you like, damn, that nigga was really like that. Oh, there and sometimes... Sometimes, and it's always it's your, after you get burned. Then you, you come up with a list of 10, 15 no. different things. Like, yeah, man. See, see that was fucked up because he did that, that. You know what I mean? But that's all the shit yeah, you was supposed it, to pick up it, on it, in the first it, place. And, and sometimes it be your core niggas when they try to tell you about some of those new niggas. You know what I'm saying? Who, no. Hey, I'm saying my man Chuck right here, he wouldn't let that slide if it was us, but he letting that shit slide here. You know what I'm saying? Ah, yeah. that shit ain't cool. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and it's always your true, true, true who gonna let you know, like, dog, that's what that shit is, dog. Like, that nigga was fucked up. I I've been telling you indirectly that that nigga was fucked up, but because you my man, I'm gonna go ahead and just, hey, you rock how you rock. And sometimes you gotta learn that shit. You know what I'm so saying? Like, we tell I'm gonna probably hit the club with such and such and such and such. People like, damn, fam, you sure you wanna go do that, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you sure you sure? That's Straight real. Up. That's real. Cause that's cause that's one thing I can say about my man right here, my bird, Birdman, man. It's you know what I'm saying? And he even kind of talked to me a little bit when I introduced him to a situation that he already know what I'm talking about with uh nigga that I don't fuck with no more. You know what I'm saying? And he was tight over it because it was like on the strength of me and how close me and Marbury is, and mind you. I known this nigga before I knew Marbury. I known the nigga since like seventh grade. But at the same time, it was like, you know what I'm saying? Me and Marbury relationship is more solid than what that was because I wasn't around him like I was growing up with Marbury. We was around each other all the time. You know what I'm saying? So of course that friendship was a lot stronger than it was. I wasn't around this dude because once I moved, well, I moved, you know, so I ain't never was around this dude like on a conscious basis. And Marbury, I, I kind of remember sometimes like. When I first introduced dude to Marbury and him, mm -hmm. uh, he came around the way, you know what I'm saying? And on the strip, like I could tell that, you know what I'm saying? Marbury, I could tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know what I'm saying? All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. But at the same time, I could tell it was like, I could tell Marbury, you had, he used to talk to me about situations. And I used to be mm -hmm. like, all right, that's just the home. I know a nigga for a minute. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and the other, da, 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 da. And certain, sometimes it's your core homies who see shit before you see shit. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, it's like, dang. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 like to this day, I don't think Marbury kind of remember that. But yeah, it's like I'm yeah, a little awkward that one. Yeah, yeah, I probably yeah, did yeah. say some good stuff. Yeah, I probably, yeah. I probably yeah. always say some good stuff though. Yeah, 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 I probably yeah, yeah. did say some good stuff. Yeah, it was some yeah, it was some conversations. It was some conversations out there because he never really took to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all never really took to it like that. Because our core was our core. And when I called me and I called. We ain't never really let too many outsiders, even niggas that we fuck with on the outside, really come into that. And, and, and I got mad at you, Chuck. I said, why, why would you bring that type of dude around this situation right now? I was yeah, just like, yeah, Chuck, I'm it. it was, yeah, it was a conversation. Yep, yep. You know, I mean, because who does that? It's like, who? Yeah, what are you doing? Like, huh? But you I don't give a shit. A key word, core. You know what I mean. So you got it. You know what I mean. You 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 hold more. You know I mean, you hold Furman as a, a a core person for a reason. You know what I mean. Just like I got my my group. You know what I mean. I hold them as core people for a reason because I trust they judge. You know what I mean. So when 
Mm-hmm. But one of my cores is telling me, hey, boom, hey, bro, you might want to, you know what I'm saying, kind of second guess yourself on that one, you know what I mean? You, hey, it's almost like you have a responsibility to 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 kind of dig, you know what I mean, dig into what they saying, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, why why you say that? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Then go research, you know what I mean? Because again, that's your core. You know what I mean? Most of us refer to our, our homeboys as like brothers. You know what I mean? He like a brother to me. You know what I mean? So you can't, if he like a brother to me, then I'm gonna have to, you know what I mean, pick up on what he's saying because it's a reason why I hold him so close. Because you know, we don't hold, you know, we don't we don't do a lot of friends, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And, not, not, and another thing, I challenge like in my friendship with with, with Chuck, I challenge Chuck. I challenge him. When he says something, I'd be like, hmm, but do you think you could have did whoop whoop whoop? Or what about whoop 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 whoop? You know, like I am going to push and challenge Chuck, man. You know, uh, even when he tell me things and he having fun, I'd be like, all right, done good. Gotta get the tough together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up, man. So, so. So I think that's a that's a mark of a, another good relationship is when you get challenged, man, and, and you don't and we don't fold or falter. You 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 stay you stay true. You answer it true, and see if you can do better in actions, oh, yeah. man. You know, I mean, it's about progression, you know. growth, and development, man. You know what I mean? Iron, you know what I mean? Iron. That age old age old phrase, iron sharpens iron. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's, that's what we're here for. You know what I mean? And that's real. So, and that's one thing I try to teach my son, man, in this generation of fakeness. You know what I'm saying? It's it's everything is just for the gram, for Twitter, for Facebook, for whatever. So when you got a lot of that going on, man, I try to teach my son, man, that self-accountability, being solid, you know what I'm saying? No one was right, no one was wrong. Uh paying attention, you know what I'm saying, the details and everything like that, all that stuff matters. You get what I'm saying? Like all that stuff matters, and you gotta constantly be in your kids' ear, especially these boys out here, because like I said, with so much of the bullshit going on and people not interacting, these kids not talking, not really getting to know each other. Then the first time you go out with a motherfucker, you get in trouble, you do some shit. That shit you would have known if you would have known just how this nigga really was if you was around this person. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, especially, just, especially the way the world is now, man. All these situations with the police, man. You know what I mean? I take nothing. Uh right hand of God, you know what I mean? God is my witness. I take nothing against any 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 black male that's or and woman as well, you know what I mean? But that has been, you know what I mean, a victim of pro- police brutality or is resting in peace because of police brutality, you know what I mean? But <clears throat> at the same point in time, you know what I mean, on the self-accountability level, we also have to understand, you know what I mean, there are situations where they use excessive force, but they wouldn't have to use excessive force if we didn't put ourselves in a position for the excessive force to be used. You know what I mean? We're not taking no blame away from them for using the excessive force, but damn, you know what I mean? When you wake up the next morning, you know what I mean? The one person you can't lie to is yourself. You know what I mean? You still gonna have that thought like, damn, man, I should have just, you know what I mean? If I'd have just did this a little different, you know what I mean? The, the, the whole entire outcome could have been different. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Fighting. I'm not fighting the cops. Yo, you about to lock me up? Let's hurry up, please. Come on, man. I'm, saying, I'm not, I'm not running. I'm not running from them. You know what I mean? I don't care. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? That, that goes for police period. I don't care if it's black or if it's white, man. You know, I get pulled over, bro. I'm hey, I'm gonna talk to him with respect. Hey, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Can you show me your yes, ma'am. I'm, uh, re- I'm reaching, I'm reaching off right. in my glove compartment. Cool. Exactly. Anything else I need to do, sir? Or you gonna give me a ticket, sir? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> then I'm you gonna pop teach the, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop the nigga in the passenger seat in the back of the head. And shut your mouth, man. Shut up. You know what I was doing in the passenger seat. Time about man, that's fucked up. Why they they always fucking with us? They always. Man, if you don't shut up. Ooh, I was that. I, I'm that nigga in the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's a. Uh, but like I say though, like you said though, that's the. That's the that's the stuff we got to teach our generation. You know what I'm saying? Not every moment is a Malcolm X moment. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and it's just it, it is just accountabilities and understanding and, and teaching that. And with this, these younger generation of young men out here, that's what has to be talked about, man. Because like I said, the lacking of social interaction, the lacking of really really needed to learn like that common sense. It's a lot of book smarts. I'm not knocking these kids today. 
it's a lot of very smart young men out here, book smarts, everything. But at the same time, you still need to know that other side too to be able to maneuver and move. You know what I'm saying? Because Good you don't want to get the, sense. you don't want to get the no, you don't want to get to college and all this, that, and the other. And like I said, certain people go to these schools, like you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Whit Furman, went to HBCU, John C. Smith. Certain, and then where I went to school at and stuff like that. It's certain CSU. HBCUs. Yeah, there you, there you go. So it's like when you are when you a young black man growing up in a certain environment, certain way, and then you go to HBCUs and you around certain characters and you don't know how to maneuver and move and like college exposed a lot to these kids. And uh. when you don't understand how to be good judge of character, you know what I'm saying? Hey, this dude can seem like he good in the classroom, but then the nigga could be out here hustling in these streets mm-hmm. or they could be out here doing something as well because you see all sides of the spectrum at HBCU. They are gang- hey. gangsters in college. I was, uh, that's what I'm going to say. Hey, hey. That's yeah, I know that. It's gangsters in college. I don't care what exactly. HBCU it is. <laughs> hey, man, hey. Your freshman <laughs> dorm is like the trap. You know what I'm saying? Because you got it you is. Know I mean? <laughs> cats coming from everywhere. You know what I mean? That's the trap. Your freshman dorm is the oh. trap. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Everything oh. going on over went, there. You know what I mean? I remember the first time. I, I still remember the first time I visited Fermate down there when he was in school, and I was like, "No, this shit like back around the way." Yeah, man. like this shit. This shit real around here. Like niggas yeah, real man. around here. You can get jumped. <laughs> you can get beat up, robbed, all types. My lord. Woo. Hey, man. That to be a G. Hey, bro. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> what, boy. Hey, hey, college is is is, is different. Hey, man. Look, man. My homeboy had to say it. Man, I, I had came back from Tennessee State, man. When I left, hey, bro, I was clean. I, you know what I mean? I wore khakis every day. You know what I mean? He said, you know, all the nigga I know left, you know what I mean? Left, uh, left home as a pretty boy. I came back. I'm in white t-shirts with, with, with cornrows to the back. You know what I mean? <laughs> my mother looked at me like, I, I lost my son. You me right. My mother said, For real? my son. I'm like, I'm right here, man. Um, yeah, um, hey. hey. It's a, it's a kind of like, changing experience, but like you said, man. but like you said though, those growing up the way we grew up though, being outside, you know what I'm saying, being in the play fights and the aggressive, the energy and all that, this, that, and the other, that shit prepared you for shit like that when you get to a school, when you in an environment where you gotta really peep out who real, who ain't, who solid, who not, who this, who that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because right. you can easily get confused by the perception and the image. And that's the difference, you know what I'm saying, when we talk about the respect level of men and understanding that. Like, we not, we got to get back to that core of really getting the, hey, man, take your ass outside, son. Fuck you know How your man live right up the street and y'all talking to each other on this fucking video game? Like, the shit just don't make sense to me. Man, take I your mean, ass outside and go play, nigga. Go know what you I, mean. I, go, I, go, I, go I, see the world a little bit. I'm weird about that anyway, man. You know, Chuck, I don't even know if you know this, you know what I mean? Because, you know, we be able to do the Google yeah. thing. Hey man, I don't FaceTime no. most, most time when you when we when we talk, I, I probably sit the phone down, you know what I mean? It'd be tough. Yeah, I, man, <laughs> I, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? This is a whole nother grown ass man over here. You know what I mean? I just don't, you know what I mean? I don't really rock like that. You know what I mean? It's, but you know, like another thing, man, you know, we man, we didn't got like over 20 inches of snow over the past you know, me two weeks in uh in Chicago, bro. Hey man, <laughs> ask me how many kids I seen outside playing, man. Making money. Yeah, exactly. I ain't seen no, I ain't seen no, I ain't seen no little ones with no, no little dudes with no shovels. You know what? I'm even, I'm even more mad at you know what I mean at the, at the, at the, at the, you know, especially the male, the, the fathers. You know what I mean for yeah, not pushing. Man, ain't That's no way it. in hell. Man, let me have a son, bro. Hey, no. Boy, if you don't get your ass out there and shovel us, hey man, you better go. Hey, three dollars a house, man. You know what I mean? Hey, go, go get it. <laughs> Trust you, go get it, you know what I'm saying? No. That's real. And like I said, man, and I and, and I work hard. Like I said, I'm not gonna say it lie, like I ain't work hard to give my kid a better life. But sometimes you forget to give them that with shape. You know what I'm saying? And that's the real big thing right there. And I started to notice that as I started to see the progression of my son. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you need to start getting a little bit more out there a little bit. I need to start yeah. putting more responsibility and accountability on you a little bit more. Because at 15 years old, you know what I'm saying? My son about to be 16, driving and everything. Those are major steps in your life. 
And I got to know that you are responsible enough to go out here and be a good judge of character with dudes you got riding in vehicles that I got with you. You know what I'm saying? I can not have you out here thinking, oh, I'm going to be cool. And you got random niggas up in your shit that's not supposed to be in your shit. And you don't even know these niggas like that. And then you end up in a situation that you ain't even supposed to be. In. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's about having to teach these kids all this stuff, man. Teach these young men that stuff, man. Because I'm sorry, like, I don't, I don't like you, like you said for a minute, next 20 years, I don't know where we gonna be in that next generation of young men. Oh, man. I really don't know, man. It's scary. Um, it is it's scary. scary. You know what I'm it's saying? It's scary, man. It's scary, bro. It's scary, I mean, it man. is, man. You know, I, we, ain't, we ain't really got you no know, boys clubs no more. You know what I'm saying? No no nothing. No outlets. You know what I mean? So it's like that. And, and you can't. <clears throat> I hear people saying all the time, you know, you want to you want to fault these little young dudes. You can't fault these little young dudes. How you going to fault somebody that, ain't, that, that wasn't taught no better? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even you know me, our our generation. You know what I'm saying? The violence has really, you know, what I mean, not increased. You know what I mean? Let me put that out there. You know what I mean? Because the hey, if you go look at you know what I mean, the crime rate and the murder rate. You know what I mean? Back when we was young. You know what I mean? When 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 gang violence was real heavy. You know what I mean? All across the states. You know what I'm saying? Hey, out of drive by shoes, the murder rate has not. You know what I mean? Has not. You know what I mean? Changed. Very, you know what I mean? Very much. You know what I'm saying? It's just now it's just. On social media, I mean, we we have more access to see what's going on in the world. <clears throat> but you know, what I mean, the thing about our generation that's different is we still had people that, you know, what I'm saying, would, would talk. You know, what I mean, the OGs would talk. You know, what I mean, and that's the whole thing talk, about yeah, the interpersonal yeah, yeah. communication. You know, what I mean, you have to be able to, you know, what I mean, personalize. You know, what I'm saying, you have to be able to socialize with different people. You know, what I'm saying, so they don't have that. You know, what I mean, that's the part that you know, what I mean, is going to create the imbalance. Yeah. Literally saw hierarchies growing up. We saw we saw our uncles. We saw the yeah. dads. Yeah. We saw the granddad. We yeah. saw the men out. I think I think our generation was the last generation where we where we did cookouts on yeah. GP just for GP yeah. just for GP yeah. just for GP. Not not Fourth of July. Nah, yeah. everybody come through. Guys bring the brews. Get game on spades. Bad men. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> what happened to those times, man? Oh, it's it's it's, hey, it's crazy. I was dog. just saying the other day, man. I I, 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 was, I ain't been to a car party or nothing in a minute, man. I'm like, damn, dude, dude, man, they niggas play cards anymore. I mean, what's up? Dominoes, whatever. Like, dudes, don't. Everybody is so secluded to themselves today, man, and it's and that's a problem. Today. That's a problem because that, that ain't just like due to COVID. Energy. It was it was like that before nah, COVID, but it was COVID, like that prior. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. COVID is gonna make it make it's making it ten times worse now. You know what I mean? So it was like that before COVID, but COVID is just making it worse. Exactly, exactly. And I think it's and like you said, I think it's just that uh, we afraid to interact, we afraid to argue because we afraid to lose, we afraid to feel like we're gonna lose friendships over shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just general. Like I see a lot of kids hold shit back from each other because they be afraid to think like, man, if I say this, I don't want to hurt my man's feelings and I don't want to lose the friendship. I don't want nah if a dude's solid with you, dog, and you can't be a hundred with him, what the fuck you hanging around the dude for? Hey man, if he's solid, you gotta if you gotta you gotta be on tippy toes around. Yeah, it's your your obligation. Hey, bro, you tripping, man. Come on. You tripping. No. No, I'd have had, I'd had my own boy say it to me, uh, you know what I mean, quite a few times, and I, ain't, I don't get mad about that, you know what I mean? But that's a whole nother thing, you know what I mean? Constructive criticism, you know what I mean? Constructive criticism is not hating, so everybody understands that. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Please get that. Yeah. Understand the difference. You know what, you know what I mean? Yeah. Constructive criticism and being hated on is two entirely different things. No, I want to see you win. You know what I'm saying? Straight and the only up. way for me to see you win. Is to let it be known on what you need to do better for you to win. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, motherfuckers got to get out there. Yeah, that's get that out there. These kids, this generation, somebody give you constructive criticism, man. They doing it for a reason to want to see you win. It's not to hate on you. Mm-hmm. It is not to hate on you. I want to see you win. You know what I'm saying? 
not your way and everybody way is always the right way all the time. So we want to see you win. Man. Hell, most of most and, of the time, the people, most, and, most and, of the time, and, and the, the ones that's receiving. Okay, okay go ahead. The about people that's receiving. The... <laughs> go ahead, Berman. The people that's receiving the, the the constructive criticism have to understand that they can take that criticism or not, but yeah. just show that you've heard the criticism in a respectful way and that, you know, and, and you thank them for it, you know, mm -hmm. and that goes from sender to receiver. The sender has a responsibility, the receiver has a responsibility, you know, and I just want our, you know, people that receiving to take, you know, constructive criticism, not like you said, as a, as a judgment or, or condemn to them, but just a, this person wants to see you win. Yep. Now that's the compliment. That's a compliment. Time that's in. a man compliment. It may not be what you want, but that's a man compliment right there, man. And again, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you put that person in that position as a friend, you know what I mean? As a homie, whatever, you know what I mean? For a reason, you know what I'm saying? So if you can't take what they saying to you, if you or if you think they are quote unquote hating on you, I mean, take the self accountability and say you you don't want to put them there any damn way. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> can't nobody can't nobody get close enough to me to for me to call them uh one of my haters. You know what I mean? You 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 can't. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get close enough to me, for me to call you a hater. You know what I mean? And then oftentimes, you know, I mean, we use that word hating. So you know what I mean? Expect men use it more than women. You know what I mean? Men use oh man, them just hating on me. You know what I mean? Half time you ain't even got nothing to be hated on. You know what I mean? So so go on hit on. You know what I mean? Oh, you guys a pair a couple pair of Jordans. And the uh, you know, what I'm saying right. some ripped jeans, right. <laughs> right. but nah, man, we're gonna go ahead and close, man. Hey, good conversation, man, about just, just being on man time shit sometimes, man. What the young boys said today, man. hey, what I say to the young boys, man, for real, for real, don't say it and not do it, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, if you want to be on your man time, shit, definitely be on it, you know what I'm saying, and pay attention to your surroundings. You know what I'm saying, hey, get back out there, man. We need this generation to start getting back outside again. You know what I'm saying? When this COVID shit is up, man, get your asses back outside. Like Fur Man say, we need them space parties. We need them cookouts. We need all that. You know what I'm saying? When we start getting to the point that we're interacting with each other again. You know what I'm saying? So let's get back to that old school way of just getting the understanding and no motherfuckers today. Before we go, can I drop a can I drop a message off? Yeah, go ahead, man. Hey, hey put your shit out there too. I I I just want to say, man. Um, I got a message. Um, I got this from uh, T D Jakes, and a lot of our young guys do this. Melanated, we do this. We make a a permanent decision on a temporary storm. Woo! Now we're all guilty of that. All of us. We're all guilty of that. You know what I'm saying? But we have to understand that the storm is not. It's, it's just going to be here for a time and it's going to go away. You know what I'm saying? And we can't make permanent decisions on a temporary storm like that. So I just want to say, yo, it's Furmain with Furmain Entertainment. Furmain! Yo, <laughs> check out the YouTube channel. Check out my artist, Go Villain. He got a song with Swan Pacino and Ruger Bone video coming out too, man. Furmain Entertainment dropping some stuff off me. <laughs> Furmain! Yeah. <laughs> already, already. Go ahead, uh, AG. Let them know how they can reach us, man. Hey, y'all know what it is, man. You know what I mean? I'm going to uh, uh, compound off the, the subject tonight, man. You know, hey, act more with your two ears and your mental versus your mouth. You know what I'm saying? That, that it, it speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can you can understand the process a lot more. You know what I mean? Then you can, then you can open your mouth and speak. You know what I'm saying? But uh, also, <clears throat> the homie keys, hey, we set up, uh, what, the other night? About two hours. He dropped me off about seven of them tracks. You know what I mean? So the EP is coming soon. The Majestic Mind State uh clothing wear is coming soon. You know what I, mean? I don't know if y'all y'all check it out on the uh, on the Instagram page, on the BMMP Instagram page, on my Instagram page at a, a dot g dot third, you know what I mean, and Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So clothing line EP coming soon. But uh y'all can find us. BMMP underscore E N T on Instagram. BMMP underscore podcast on Twitter. Big Money No Problems Entertainment on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Big Money No Problems Casting 
on uh SoundCloud. We on every major podcast platform. You know what I mean? Hey, holla at Siri, holla at, uh uh what's what's the other little chick name? Alexa. 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 Yeah, Girl. yeah, you know what I mean? We- tell hey, tell them to play big money, no problems, talk podcast show and, and, and let it pop up. You know what I'm saying? We ain't hard to find. That's just how we move at all, at all. And like I said, man, hey. Salute to these two right here. Salute to 88 Keys, our other, our other member right here, our other shop top partner, man. Check him out on all his platforms, 88K3YZ on all his platforms, man. Check out the new project he got out, everything. So definitely salute and salute to these dudes, man, for having this conversation. Definitely a conversation that needed to be had. You know what I'm saying? I felt like we talked about it a little bit differently than the way I've been hearing it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we need to continue to make strides and have these real, real conversations when it comes to these situations, man. It's good for the mental health. It's good for all that. So that's what we're about. That's what we try to do. Hey, salute to the movements. Salute to everything. Yeah, we moving. Like I said, yeah. we, we we taking our lumps and our steps and trust and believe, man. And it, it's, it's coming. That's all I'm going to say. It's about to be on the biggest scale, bigger everything. It's truly, truly coming. So salute to everybody for paying attention. Salute for the people who still keep us in the ears. And we'll keep giving me all that content on which I need to hear, man. And we'll keep pushing. Keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? Show by show. Day by day. Hey, that's all we can do, man. So, once again, salute to everybody for watching. Peace. Peace. Peace.